Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at percentage change. The value of a car decreases by 12% after the first year. The car was originally £1,250. What is the new value of the car? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take 12% of the value off 1250 so method one, what we're going to do is find 12% of 1,250. 12% is the same as 12 out of 100. In maths, the word of means times, and then we bring the value down. So 12% of 1,250 can be done by 12 out of 100 times 1,250. 12 out of 100 can be simplified as a fraction uh, to 6 out of 50. And so we can do uh, 1,250 divided by 50 and then times by 6. So when we're working out a fraction of an, an amount, we divide by the bottom and times by the top. Divide by the bottom and times by the top. 1,250 divided by 50 is, on your calculator, 25. And then 25 times 6 is 150. 12% is 150 pounds. But it says it decreases by that amount, so we're going to subtract the original amount by 12%, uh, £150. 1,250 minus 150 is £1,100, and that is the correct answer. I'm going to show you quite a slightly quicker method, where we start with 100% and we take away 12%. 100 minus 12% is 88%. 88% of 1,250 will get us straight to the correct answer. 88% is the same as 0 0.88. And so to tap this into our calculator, we can use 0 0.88 as the multiplier. 0 0.88 times 1,250 on our calculator gives us 1,100 pounds, which again is the correct answer. But I think method two is slightly quicker. Example two. 200 pounds is increased by 20%. Then the new amount is increased by 10%. Show that this is more than just increasing 200 pounds by 30%. Okay, so let's start by working out what increasing 200 pounds by 30% is. So 100 percent plus 30 percent is increasing it by 30 percent is 130 percent and 130 percent as a decimal is 1.3 to increase 200 pounds by uh, 30 percent we just do 200 times 1.3 on our calculator that will give us 260 pounds so if you increase 200 pounds by uh, 30 percent you get 260. now let's do it the uh, the other way. So we increase it by 20% and then increase this amount by 10%. So let's find uh, we increase 200 pounds by 20%. That is 120% of 200 pounds, which is 1.2 times uh, 200 pounds, which is 240 pounds. Now, we're going to increase that amount by 10%. So we're going to find 110% of 240 pounds. That's 1.1 times 240, which on your calculator will give you the answer of 264 pounds. So 260 is the amount after just a 30% increase, but 264 pounds is the amount after a 20% increase and then a 10% increase. In the comments, I'd like you to uh, tell me why the second amount is bigger. Why do you think increasing by 20% and then 10% is bigger than increasing by 30%. So the question asked us, show that this is more in, than just increasing uh, by 30%. And what we've done is by uh, showing that the increasing this way is indeed a bigger number than if we just do it normally. Now, example three. A shop has a sale of 20% off. The sale amount of a TV is £336. What was the price of the TV before the sale? Okay, so the TV has already decreased in price and now, after the discount, it is £336. 
So what we know is that the price has gone down by 20% and now it is 80% of the price. 80% is 0 0.8. So the original price of the TV was times by 0 0.8 and now that made the new price which was um, £336. Here, 0 0.8 is the multiplier, which is just like the percentage as a decimal. The new price is £336. So the original price times 0 0.8 is £336. And we need to solve this equation to find the original price. It says times by 0 0.8. So the opposite of timesing is dividing. And to work, uh, so we're going to do 336 divided by 0 0.8 to find the original price. And the original price is £420. And that is the correct answer. That is the price before the sale. OK. That's an interesting example. Make sure you understand example 3. OK. Now, if you're happy with that video, uh, you can try these practice questions. If you'd like to watch the video one more time before you do these practice questions, that's OK. Just rewind. Pause the video now and take about 10 minutes to try and solve these questions all by yourself using a calculator. When you're ready, I'll reveal the answers for you to check in three, two, one. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember, we have plenty more videos coming every week. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We have plenty of videos about GCSE, A-level and IB. We are always quick and simple. And we have new videos coming very soon. Good luck in exams and I'll see you in the next video.